I'll be 48 this year, so when I bought it 19 on a 30-year mortgage, guess what would have happened next year? House would have been paid off. That house is now worth 250000 that I paid. Okay, so now the military guy now has a $150,000 equity that could have been mine. I, I could have rented that house out for the, for the previous 30 years. It would have pe positive cash flowed or at least broke even the whole time. It would have been paid off, and I would have had a nice little house, fishing lodge, vacation lodge, right there in Anchorage, Alaska. I could go visit any time. I could give it to my friends to go visit. They could fly up there, and I would have no mortgage payment on it. What a great thing that I could have had, and, and I, well, also the equity that was in there. Or I could have rented it out and, and had, had a positive cash flow for the rest of my life uh, because that little house is still there. It's worth a heck of a lot more than I paid for it. And I could have, so it would have given me freedom. It would have given me a retirement home. Think about it. It was a little one story. We were, I just got a call today from a lady that's looking for condos that, I, that I've got listed. All I have is two stories. And they say, don't they know we're baby boomers? We're growing up. We want one stories. And so one of the things we talk about in the book is one of the best retirement homes could possibly be the, your first home that you buy. The home that my brother-in-law bought right over here in Colleen, uh, he, he, would, he now would be able to uh, live there because it's almost paid off. He has now a retirement home to move to. It's a nice house. It's 1,800 square foot, one story. Do you need anything more than that in your retirement? No, probably not. So we kind of talk about the whole thing about is that maybe holding on to that first home could be the best financial move you could ever make. Pay it, let somebody out. If you move and get your other homes and have a bigger family later on, and, and even if you move out of the area, let somebody else make the mortgage payments, pay that thing off, and then you have something that you can count on in the long run. Uh, 